The Whale Who Ate Everything, written and illustrated by Dan DeVoe. The Whale Who Ate Everything, by Dan DeVoe. One day, a small-sized blue whale was swimming around the sea. He became very hungry and started to look for something yummy. So hungry was the whale that he ate a rusty pail, and the whale got a little bit bigger. So hungry was the whale that he ate A, B, C, and Braille, and the whale got a little bit bigger. So hungry was the whale that he ate his own mail, and the whale got a little bit bigger. Mm, what else rhymes with whale? From you to Mr. Whale, 123 Water Park, Atlantic Ocean, H2O, H2O. Oh, you shouldn't have. So hungry was the whale that he tried to eat his own tail. And to his surprise, the whale stayed the same size. You can wag, but you can't hide. Then the whale went too far. He ate a jar. He ate a guitar. He ate a chocolate bar. And he ate a bright red car. It truly was bizarre. So the whale got bigger than any whale had ever been. He became so big that he could not even swim. And he became so terribly sad that he lost his big whale grin. <coughs> then one day, an anchor was dragging by. And even though he had become so big, the whale thought, I'll give it a try. But the anchor got stuck inside of the whale. He pulled and he pulled and he started to flail. But it was too late. The boat put up its sail. I dare you to pinch him. Then something real strange started to happen. The anchor had hooked all the things within. And it pulled everything out from his head to his fin. I really don't remember eating a pumpkin. Now that small blue whale swims in the sea, just eating normal whale food, such as algae, he finds it tasty and it makes him so happy. The end. Circles by Dan DeVoe, a concrete poem. Snails leave a trail, oceans with swarming whales. This looks like the head of a nail. Dogs chase their tails, dogs chase their tails. A giant piece of hail, maybe the rim of a pail. This face is turning pale. Dan DeVoe, on the left, was born and raised in the great nation of Canada. He is a true Canadian artist who loves to write and illustrate children's books. He is also terribly afraid of lobsters his size. You can visit him on the web at www.dandevoe.ca.